Good morning, class. Myself Sunil Kumar, your math teacher. Today I am explaining class 10th maths exercise 6B, quadrant geometry. In the exercise 6B, that is a very very important formula. It's called a section formula. Section formula. In the section formula, here is a point. Sorry, at first. Let x dash ox and y o y dash be the coordinate axis. At first, we can draw here. This is the y axis, and that's a x axis. X o x dash y o y dash, and take. A point A and B with coordinate x1 and y1. Here is a point A, and here is the point B. That coordinate is x1 y1. Their coordinate is x2 y2. This is the line AB. And P is in point divides AB in M ratio n. Here is a point P. So their coordinates is x and y. It divides the AB in M ratio n. M ratio n. Show that. Here AP equal to M and BP equal to N. So here written AP by BP equal to M by N. That means draw AL perpendicular to OX. Here we can draw AL perpendicular to OX, BM perpendicular. To OX, it's a ninety, 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 ninety. PN perpendicular to OX. Here from point P, it should be also a draw a perpendicular on OX. Now AR, AR perpendicular to PN, and. PS perpendicular to BM. So in this triangle and in this triangle. Okay. So at first AR we need AR. This is the perpendicular. So this is AR. AR that means ON minus OL. ON minus OL. OL nr ar equal to ln ar equal to ln and ln equal to on minus ol that means on equal to x or ol equal to x1 so it's a x minus x1 and ps PS is equal to NM, and NM is equal to OM minus ON. Here OM is x2 minus ON x, x2 minus x. Now in the perpendicular form here, PR. PR equal to PN minus RN, and RN is equal to AL. So it's a Y1 and it's a Y. So that Y minus Y1 equal to PR, and BS equal to BM minus SM. SM is equal to Y. So This is equal to y two minus y. 
क्योंकि बोथ ट्रायंगल दिस ट्रायंगल एंड दिस ट्रायंगल आर सिमिलर शो दे आर क्रॉसपोंडिंग साइड्स आर प्रोपोर्शनल इन इन द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर इन द थर्ड थ्योरम यू मस्ट बी रीड दैट डीपीटी थ्योरम बेसिक प्रोपोर्शनलिटी थ्योरम इन दिस थ्योरम यू नो अबाउट द टू ट्रायंगल्स एंड टू ट्रायंगल्स आर व्हेन सिमिलर देन देयर क्रॉसपोंडिंग एंगल्स आर इक्वल एंड देयर क्रॉसपोंडिंग साइड्स आर प्रोपोर्शनल सो इन दिस चैप्टर इन दिस फार्मूला वी यूज दैट थ्योरम their proportional sides ap by bp equal to ar by bs equal to pr by bs here we find the value of ap where is ap ap equal to m and bp equal to n so that ap by bp equal to m by n ar here we can find out x minus x1 so we are put x minus x1 ps ps is x2 minus x here we put x2 minus x and pr equal to y minus y1 and bs equal to y2 minus y1 so in this way we use this ratio with first time with the x and the second time with the y because in this coordinate geometry p points have two coordinates one is x and another is y so we find it separately okay m by n equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 cross multiplication m x2 minus m x in this cross cross multiplication n x minus n x1 okay now n x1 change their sides becomes positive m x change their side becomes positive here mx2 plus nx1 and mx2 mx plus nx x is common m plus n show that x equal to mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n that is the coordinate of point p as an x now as a y m by n y minus y1 by y2 minus y cross multiplication we got the this value of y so by the coordinate formula if we should find a point which intersect or uh, by uh, sorry intersects intersect a line segment in m ratio n then we find x equal to mx2 by nx1 by m plus n and y equal to my2 plus ny1 by m plus n this is the called section formula this is called section formula now another important fact if the point p is the midpoint of a line segment ab then what should be done what is the formula of x and y so that just focus it if point p point p is the mid point of line segment ab then that means this is the line ab and this is the point equal to x y x1 y1 x2 y2 this is the midpoint if this is the midpoint that means ap equal to bp ap equal to pb that means ap by pb equal to ap by 
AP it should be written as 1 by 1. That means it divide it into 1 ratio 1. So that the value of M is so that M equal to also 1, M equal to also 1. In this way, how can we find the value of X and Y? X equal to Mx2 plus Nx1 by M plus N. Here is M, N is 1, 1 into X2 plus 1 into X1 by 1 plus 1. That means X2 plus X1 by 2. That is the value of X if the P point is a midpoint. X equal to X2 plus X1 by 2. Similarly, similarly, Y equal to Y2 plus Y1 by 2. And Y equal to Y2 plus Y1 by 2. That is the formula of point coordinates of P point x equal to x2 plus x1 by 2, y equal to y2 plus y1 by 2 if point P is the midpoint. If point P is the midpoint, then the section formula becomes changed into this formula. We can use this formula when P point is the midpoint of any line segment of PV. Okay? Now, the one thing more, if any line segment should be trisected by a two points, five shifted by the three points, four points, how can we find that? How can we use their ratios? So, here, Here is a line segment A, B. Here is a point P and point Q. It P and Q point trisected. Trisect AB. That means three equal parts. That means AP equal to PQ equal to QB. All three parts are equal. So it's a 1, 1 and 1. When we take P as a point, P as a point, then M is to N equal to AP ratio PB. What is the value of AP? AP equal to 1. And what is the value of PB? PB equal to PQ plus QB. That means 1 plus 1. Here PB should be written as PQ plus QB. That means 1 is 2. 1 plus 1. That means 1 is 2. 2. Just a reverse. When we take Q as a point. When we take Q as a point. Their ratio becomes Q as a point. Then M is to N equal to AQ ratio QB. So, AQ, AQ is also 2. 1 plus 1, 2. That means 2 is to 1. We use this, these ratios in the trisection forms. <coughs> okay? Now, the one and most important thing, we know that any triangle, triangle A, B, C, have three medians. It's the AD is the median, BE is the median, 
and CF is the median. So this is the point G. It is called the centroid. It is called the centroid. Medians, medians of a triangle intersect at a point G is called centroid. So that AG ratio GD equal to BG ratio GE equal to CG ratio FG. These ratios are equal and that is the fixed ratio is 2 is to 1. That is the fixed ratio. Centroid always intersect in 2 is to 1 ratio. Always remember that the centroid must be intersect each, each other in the ratio 2 is to 1. So, if we find the coordinates here is x1 y1, x2 y2, x3 y3. So, coordinates of G, x or y, x equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 and y equal to y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3. It should be also proved but here we can't prove it because it becomes very very puzzled. Okay? So if you find the coordinates of G centroid x equal to x1 plus x2 plus that means x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 and in this way you can find the centroids. In the next video we can solve all the problems or many problems on the basis of section formula, trisection methods and centroids of medians of triangles, coordinates of the centroids. Okay, thank you.